Artists and Crafts online video, Romare Bearden. Action! Hi Artists and Crafts families. Today's artist is Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden was an African American artist and writer. He is recognized as one of the most creative and original visual artists of the 20th century. He was heavily influenced by jazz music and experimented with many different mediums and artistic styles. He is best known for his richly textured collages, two of which appeared on the covers of Fortune and Time magazines. Today we are going to create our own version of his famous piece, The Block. The Block is a tribute to Harlem, where Bearden spent much of his childhood and where he established his first studio. <laughs> Collage is so much fun for kids, but if you have little ones, it will require a little bit more prep on your part. For this project, you'll need a handful of magazine cutouts. So next time you're flipping through a magazine, if you see an image your child might like, just tear that page out. Before you do the project, you'll probably have to trim it a little bit. In addition to the magazine cutouts, you'll also need some scrap pieces of paper cut into squares and triangles. These will be for the houses. You'll need some glue and a long piece of paper. We usually use a dark piece of paper, either black or purple or blue, um, just so it looks more like the block. We just took a regular piece of construction paper and cut it so that it's 11 inches by 6 inches. Turning your canvas into a long rectangle makes it more similar to Bearden's piece. And don't forget the stickers. Stickers are always a win. So in order to do this project, we do it in layers. The first layer is the houses. The second layer is the magazine cutouts. And the third layer is the stickers. Start by assembling your buildings. Depending on where you live, your house may look like a square and a triangle, or it may be a long rectangle. Do you know how many sides a triangle has? Three. Yes. <laughs> are these like super easy questions? This was, these are questions I would ask in my class, like how many angles or points does a triangle have? Three. How many sides does a square have? Four. Yes. All right, now that you have a couple buildings glued down, that's layer one. Layer two is the fun part. You get to pick out different magazine pieces. This is a great time to talk to your kid about all different kinds of things. You could say, what does the cat say? What does the cow say? Ooh, what does the horse say? <laughs> you say, isn't that cool that Elmo's on your block? Maybe your block has some trees on it, maybe some cars. You could even have a cat or a dog. Probably has some people, right? You could talk about what they're doing. Why is there a giant cat on my block almost the size of the barn? <laughs> and that's the fun part about collage also. The size doesn't really matter. So you can have a giant cat next to a house. Yeah, a giant cat next to a very, very small pig. I give mine some trees. Good idea. As mom was saying, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be like realistic. Of course, this cat is not realistic. I've never seen a uh, cactus like this, except right now. But. You know what else? Look at these doors I found. What color door should I get this building? Mm. I have all the choices. Did this one look Blue? Oh, yeah. That's Blue a good that one. Looks... All right. okay. Mom, that looks adorable. <laughs> Dad jokes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Really what would be so much fun is if you had a really, really long piece of paper mm -hmm. and made it super long. The Romare Bearden's block is actually really big. Mm -hmm. And guys, another fun thing that you could do, when I teach this project at Havana Outpost in Fort Greene, I print out a bunch of different pictures of our favorite places like Green Life Bookstore and Annex Coffee and of course, the Biggie Mural. You can do the same thing for the block you live on. And it might be fun to also print out a picture of your actual house. You can even print out pictures of yourself and your kids. Your kids will get a kick out of seeing their favorite places and even themselves on their artwork. And finally, the stickers. They add the much needed pizzazz that every kid art project desires. Well, when we do this in class, we're sure to use some music theme stickers because Romeo Bearden was inspired by jazz. Does anybody know the city and state where Romare Bearden is from? North Carolina. Yeah, Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, and last but not least, if you want to draw on your artwork, we highly recommend oil pastels because they turn out really cool. Yes, especially on the dark paper, it really pops. It'll be nighttime. Ooh, that's a good idea. You want to draw some stars? 
This turned out so good. I love the flowers. I love that little pig. Ooh, that's a good idea. Add some uh, grass. You never have to be finished with your artwork. You can always add more any time. Like, maybe in um, like two months, I'm gonna add something else. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, say if you're looking through a magazine and you saw something that you liked, you could say, hey mom, can I rip out this page and add it to my collage? <laughs> and there you have your very own block. Ta da! Alright, guys, we cannot wait to see how yours turned out. Tag us on Instagram at Artists and Crafts or send me an email. My email is jack at lovejack.com. Alright, happy creating! <laughs>